to Downrange Garage. Devin here, and we are back on the ridge line, like I ever left. Anywho, so we got the door primed, and yes, it doesn't really look like normal primer colors. I got bored and decided to play around my primer a little bit and see about tinting. I have things in mind, so I want to try to get some ideas for color combinations. Now over here, I kind of did a spray. So these are kind of the colors I'm thinking of. Now the main truck is going to be black, but my other color alternates are going to be dark gray, light gray. So I got a darker gray here and a light gray here. Now this is primer and this is primer with single stage mixed in. Why? I have it. It's here. It's free at the moment. So I'm going to work with it. If you actually add a little bit of a single stage or actual mixed clear coat in with the primer, you can get it to where it holds up better with UV light and it keeps from turning to dust. So I'm probably going to end up doing that and it should hold up pretty well. Not to mention, I kind of expect this truck to get beaten up over the years. I do plan on using it. It's not just going to be a mall crawl. So I actually want to get out the dirt and the sticks and I really don't want to spend a ton of money on color materials that are just going to end up getting destroyed and damaged anyways. But we're gonna go ahead and get the rest of the truck ready for paint now. The so body work's finished, we're gonna get that sanded. I gotta get the pinstripes off, I gotta get the badges off, and I gotta drop the rest of the parts. Two rear door handles, window seals, and the bumpers. Now, I am building front and rear two bumpers for this, but I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna be doing. So I gotta figure out if I'm cutting them now or later, because as soon as it's done getting painted, I would like to immediately jump into doing the bumpers, but yet again, I don't want to go and cut fresh paint. I hate doing that. It leaves a raw edge. Granted, plastic so it won't rust, but it does leave the paint susceptible to peeling at the edges, and I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to make the decision here shortly to either cut them or just spray the whole bumper and then deal with it down the road. Downside with that is I'll have to mix up something for touch up wherever I cut, excuse me. Oh, anywho. So, enough talking, let's get to work. All right, well, my reinforcements are here. You guys remember this? Can't curse. This guy. Donnie's so, back. Donnie is back for a limited time. So, all right, I got the pinstripes off the truck, got the decals off the back. We're gonna go ahead and sand this thing down and get it all masked up and taped, but gotta get to work. What's going on? All right, so the truck is sanded down. I got every little nook and cranny I could. Took some stuff off. I still got some more to do. Bumpers are dropped, headlights are out, rear bumpers dropped, taillights are out. 
I got trim off. Last thing I got is the door handle to pull. Gaskets around the windows because I'm going to drop the windows down in the door so I can tape up real good. I want to get the paint job as thorough as possible. So I will go back at a later date and do the inside of the jams and some around the hood on the inside. But not right now. I'm going to get the outside and get that focused on. <coughs> so now I'm going to blow it off, reposition it right about y'all. And uh, I'm going to start taping. So we're going to get this thing all masked up. It's late, so I'm going to push a little bit more. And then in the morning, hopefully my efforts prevail to be true and strong. It'll be ready for paint in the morning. And uh, I can just proceed straight to painting. Maybe a long night. Let's get back to it. Ahoy, me hearties. It be ready. R. Okay, that's bad. I won't do it again, I promise. Scout's honor. Not scout. All right, so it took forever. It is not Sunday. It is Monday. Yeah, I know. I know. I, it, 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 back to the truck. Anywho, the whole truck is sanded. We got everything masked up. I got door jams masked. Roof's all prepped. We have door handles and trim on this side. We got bumpers and stuff on the other side I'm gonna have to figure out how to make this all fit in here but I gotta get going unfortunately I missed my nice warm weather window because currently my handy thermometer says it's about 73 in here ish so still an okay temperature but a little on the cool side I need to hurry up and get this going. It tells you at 68 degrees, it is an hour in between each coat. And I want to actually go to bed at a decent time tonight. I'm tired. It's been some long nights lately again. Again. Anyway, so truck's ready to go. I'm going to grab the bed liner and we're going to get to work. So let me hurry up and get to work. There it is. Got it all painted up. It looks pretty. The bed liner came out beautiful. So this is two gallons and I had to stretch it. I ain't gonna lie, it's not as thick as I wanted, but there is a lot of surface area. Big roof, good soup. Anywho, yeah, no, it came out super nice. It's very sexy. It's pretty much dry to the touch but I still want to be careful. The door handles are a little sticky. The bumpers are still sticky. Um, so I'm going to start putting the templates down and getting this all max masked up again for the next set of colors. Now this part, I don't know how long it's going to take me. I really want to try to squeeze it on the night because you'll have the chemical adhesion where the color bites into this, but Can only push paint as fast as it can go, and unfortunately, I do have to go to work tomorrow. <sighs> Meh. All right, well, let's get on the next section. Hey, yo, all right. So, I got the pattern laid out. So, I let it dry. Now, I got my pattern all set up. It was very interesting trying to get this where I needed to. So I had to go out and buy a bunch of little fridge magnets. <laughs> and surprisingly enough, 
they work ish. The second set I bought wasn't the greatest, but it's still doing what I need it to do. Laid pretty flat. I'm not souping. This yeah, souping. I'm souping. Good soup. I am going to shoot it at you know moderate pressure. I'm not going to really blast it on super hard for this next coat, but it will definitely do what I need to do. I got some little socket sitting on there, but it looks it looks pretty good. Now for some reason up close, it it kind of bothers me a little bit the pattern, but as soon as I see it on footage, it some reason looks great so I'm just gonna run with what I got going on it's it's gonna be wild looking I just guarantee that so I am gonna go over here and mix up my gray and start doing the dark color so I'm talking let me get back to it I came out nice. Hey guys, all right, so, color number two is down. Feels dry to the touch. Toot. And I think it came out perfect. Just, I just gotta see. Oh, oh, so good. So, so good. I'm very happy. This thing is coming out amazing. Now, I gotta do the final color. But to do the final color, I gotta unmask this thing. Well, sort of. I have to cover up the gray now, the dark gray and trim out all the spots <laughs> for the light gray. <laughs> Yay. <sighs> One more long night. It's about 4.30ish, Thursday. So hopefully I can get this done and have enough time to go upload. So, the light areas that I'm gonna be doing are a lot smaller than the areas I previously put down, but I have to put all the other coverings back on before I go and spray the next one. So, all right, let's get this last color done. Okay. Retaped again. I forgot the tailgate. I will fix that in a minute. But we got the pattern reset for color three. Now, not as expansive as the other one, but I didn't want to put too much light color on it. I wanted to keep it kind of dulled down still, mostly dark. But I have to have the third contrast, so it will look right. But yeah, it's all taped up. Now, I was having a little issues up here with the bumpers. It's a woo! But uh, I'll just put some rubber gloves on and use a stick. <laughs> My stick. Uh, yeah, ignore that. But we're gonna go ahead and get the light gray mixed up and get that sprayed on. And we're gonna see how it comes out. It's gonna be interesting. But once I spray this on, it'll probably take about, it's cold, so it's probably gonna take about an hour or so for it to flash. And then I can peel this thing. And we will look at our final result. One hand, I'm really excited. On the other hand, I'm kind of nervous. Um, I don't know. First time I've done a camo job. Shh, don't tell anybody. <coughs> but so far, I like the way the pattern's laying out. The, the outlining of everything looks really, really good. So I'm very, very, very excited. But nothing more to say other than get back to work. Now for our featured presentation. Da, 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 da. Dang! 
Look at that. That's a good truck right there. Yeah. So, it's came up and I'm standing on a ladder. Anywho. Got the final color down, paper's blowing away. And it came out super, let's come on down. Do, 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 do. Okay. So, it looks great. And I say that with hesitation. Because <coughs> I had some bleed by. I guess when I was letting my kids play with it, they bumped the air pressure up and I didn't catch it. So I shot this on way too much air pressure. And unfortunately, I got a couple spots that bled through. You can see the haze. I'm hoping later on I can get it off. But I'm still super happy with it. I mean, for the grand scheme of things, it looks just so badass. I mean, this thing is just super. It's dark, but let's come back here. Do do close tailgate and for chow. I'm happy with it. It came out awesome. And considering that I, I worked like a lunatic to get it done, I'm I, I'm thrilled. <laughs> but the overall product's got over paper. The overall product came out super cool though. I was hesitant at first. I thought about just running with just the normal black vehicles like I have all over the place, but I'm, I'm getting tired of owning everything that's black, 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 get it all black. Oh, uh, never mind. <laughs> Probably get hit for a copyright if I continue. But there we go. So I'm gonna bring this to a wrap. Thank you everybody for hanging out with me on this one. I'm super, super excited that everybody's here. For all the likes, comments, subscribers, I appreciate you, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So this wraps it up for the paint portion of it. Now I'm gonna let it dry. I gotta do an exhaust work on somebody's truck this weekend, but then we're getting right back into it. And that involves all this beautiful junk sitting on the floor here. I got boxes, then I got big heavy things, and then I got long tubey things. So maybe I'm not so worried that uh, some of this bleed by came through because it may end up just going bye bye. <laughs> but <laughs> bye bye. But hey, everybody, I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope you're enjoying this so far. I have fun doing this stuff, even though it is a just utter boatload of work. But hey. Appreciate it yet again, and I'll see you guys next time, downrange. Some have theorized that the peculiar mush balls could be why the strongest can be taken ammonia can be atmosphere. If the ammonia is restricted to solid the mush balls, then the gas could be present. Mush balls! Okay.